Capitalism is the most efficient means of creating wealth and thus relieving poverty. There's nothing wrong with being wealthy as long as you create wealth for others. In the Holy Scripture, um, for example, Acts 16, okay, so verse 14, 15, one who heard us was a woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshiper of God. You see how beautiful it is? She is a businesswoman selling purple goods, but she at the same time, more importantly, is a worshiper of God. And you know, the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul and who was baptized. Okay, so that is one. Luke 19, 23, 24, Jesus said, Why then, why then did you not put my money in the bank and it might come in and might have collected with interest? And he said to them, you know, etc. So this is uh, capitalism. Even Jesus talked about capitalism. One more. Genesis 30, 41 and 43, whenever the stronger of the flock were, ble were breeding, um, Jacob would lay the sticks in the troughs before the eyes of the flock that may breed, and uh, the, fee the feebler will be laden and stronger, but Jacob's death as a man increased greatly, had large stocks, male servants and female servants, and camels and, do and donkeys. Jacob prospered through capitalism. All right, so I have a very good quote from my class in uh, Pastoral Social Ethics with Dr. Anderson. He said, capitalism is the most efficient means of creating wealth and thus relieving poverty. Solution to poverty is wealth. Solution is wealth creation, production, not redistribution. Oh, this is very important now. The solution to poverty in a society is not redistribution of wealth like communism or even so, uh, socialism in some ways, but capitalism. Why? Because the solution is wealth creation. You want to create wealth, create jobs for them so that you, you actually produce wealth, create wealth and share among the produce, among, among one another, economic system that... Only the only economic system that produces wealth is capitalism, productive, no redistribution. Okay, so the, sometimes Bible people misunderstand Bible is like sort of a communist manifesto, sharing with one another and all this, but that's not because there's only one incident of the Book of Acts, you know, to share everything together. But they really have to work with capitalism outside to bring in the the profit, the money. And then share with the needy one. So two can go hand in hand. Sharing with the needy and capitalism to generate wealth and create wealth. That's the key to poverty.